Hey everyone, it's Dr. D, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a tool at the Math Learning Center, the Number Pieces app, to create a visual representation of a division problem. So our problem is 567 divided by 4. We're not going to use a traditional algorithm, but we're going to use these virtual manipulatives to help us illustrate how many equal groups of 4 can be fit into 567. So first let's create the number 567 and then we'll make some fair shares. So I'm gonna click on these um, hundreds. I have 500. And then I'll make six tens for and seven ones. All right, so help me out here. We get 500, six tens, and seven ones. Dividing, making fair shares with four. Four friends are sharing with us. If you have, click on our pen app and we can start making some equal shares. So I can certainly share these hundreds with four of my friends. Every friend will get 100, right? So I have one for everybody, I have enough for each one. So there's one, two, three, four. Then I have this 100 that's left over. Can't share that equally with four of our friends, but I could change it. I could break it apart and make some equal shares with my tens. So what I'm gonna do is click on this um, hundreds, and I'm gonna break it up. There's a break up tool here. And now instead of 110, I'm sorry, 100, I have 10 tens. Definitely enough to do some equal shares with my four friends. Remember I had um, a total of six before, now I have 10 plus six, which is 16. So how many groups of four can I make with 16? Well, I know four times four is 16. So each of my friends should get four group, four fours. And I can make four groups of four. This is how multiplication helps us with division. Right. All right. No remainders there. N nothing left over in that um, column. Now I just have my seven ones to share out. Four friends, seven ones. Looks like I can I can do one equal share for everybody. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets four tens. Everybody gets one hundred. And I have these three remainders here, remainder of three. So that is the answer to my problem. If I'm dividing four into 567 using a visual model without doing the traditional algorithm, I can see that I have 100, four tens, and one one with a remainder of three. Now I can always check my answer using multiplication if I was to multiply 141 times four and adding the remainder of three, I should get 567. Let's check that out. Okay, four times one one is four. Four times four tens is 160. And four times 100 is 400. Adding up all of that, it's four, six, and four plus one is five. Four, 564, don't forget to add that remainder of three, which gives me 567. Thanks so much, hope you liked my video. And see if you could try doing a problem on your own. Try six divided by 506, I'm sorry, 
453 divided by